Hello. Um, yeah. So I was planning on doing something entirely different today, by the way. Uh, originally, I was trying to get a race together for today. Uh, didn't pan out, unfortunately. I don't know. It's so hard to get people together. Like last night, when I was talking to everyone, I think we were at like an optimistic four people. Uh, let me think about that. We had Dick, said he would maybe join. Necklace, said he would maybe join. Uh, Donald was like a for sure. <laughs> and Al was like a for sure. So including me, that's five. Um, no. <laughs> Donald uh, was MIA. Uh, Al was there. Necklace, unfortunately, was busy, and so was Dick. So, uh... <sighs> I try, man. I really do try to uh, to get the blind races going. It's been like two months since we've gotten a blind race going. It's uh, a little upsetting. But I can live with it. It's fine. Um, you know, if they're busy, they're busy. But it is, it is upsetting. Especially because, like, it really seemed like it was going to happen this time. So I was waiting on it, you know. I, I was ready to stream, like, 30 minutes or so ago. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what happened. But because I was expecting to do something entirely different, I'm coming into this stream completely unprepared. Which is only slightly less prepared than normal. So, really not that big of a difference, but... Uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do, really. I, I just decided, because I was going to do blind race speedrun, uh, I might as well do some form of speedrun, and this is, like, the only thing I've got going for myself, so, uh, here it is. Um, I'm gonna do Minecraft for a little bit, at least. Who knows how long that's gonna last, but we'll see. We'll see where it goes. I would really like to finish. Oh, I still have hitboxes on because I practiced uh, killing the dragon a little bit before I started. Since that is what ended up losing me the uh, the official race victory status when I was racing with the uh, mentor. But yeah, I would I would I would like to to have an actual. <laughs> Random seed run, like, in my repertoire. Because, like, the only random seed run that I actually finished was technically the one, like, literally the very first one I did. Um, the one that took over two hours. So, <laughs> like, that's so bad to the point that I don't even care to submit that, you know? I, uh... I mean, I don't know, submissions are weird, because, like, it's it's a weird spot where people are like, yeah, if you get, like, sub one hour, that's actually a pretty good run. But also, there's, like, 300 plus people who have sub one hour, so, highly contested. And also, like, god damn, dude, I was surprised when I looked at the, uh, the leaderboards earlier. I was like, what the fuck? is wrong with people, <laughs> myself included, so no offense, but, you know, I'm also brain dead. Why the fuck are so many people, uh, throwing hours and hours at what is essentially just a fucking lottery? It's, it's just Minecraft casino mode. Right, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna find a village here. This is looking like a, <laughs> like a reset. Yeah. I mean, this is this is what it's like. This is what me and well over 300 people have signed up for. To the point where they got a, a sub one hour run. I mean, I guess I'm technically not in that list, so I can't really include myself, but... Alright. Let's uh try again. Two minutes searching without a village. Not what you want to see. I'm just going to start putting numbers. That's easier. I was also surprised to see that not everyone plays on easy on the leaderboards. 
I don't know why you wouldn't play on easy when there's, like, there's no different category or anything in the speedrunning leaderboards. Uh, you're really just punishing yourself for no reason. Like, technically, it does make resetting microscopically faster. Oh, shit. Lava pool. Uh, yeah, technically it makes <laughs> resetting a little bit faster. Because you don't have to click the button to make it go to easy. But that is, uh... Not worth it in my eyes. It's not worth the potential punishment for uh, dying in the run. I mean, if you get lucky and get enough iron to get a shield, then yeah, it really doesn't matter if you're on easy or normal, but I wouldn't fuck with that. It just adds more chance for randomness to fuck you. And I'm not about that lifestyle. Dude, uh, I got the thing that I never get, which is a lava pool. Also, wait, not F3, F5. Yeah, aren't you supposed to do, like, F5 to look for lava pools? That's something that <laughs> I, I hadn't been doing. But because you get, like, a little bit of a bird's eye view, it makes it easier to spot them. I'm, uh, hmm. I think this is another reset. Because there aren't that many... Oh, fuck. I'm not good at swapping perspectives quickly. I'm not seeing any village, first and foremost, and second and foremost. Uh, the biomes all around me kind of suck ass, so. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. That's world two for you. I maybe could have continued that one if I had gone towards the birch forest, but like, eh. Or I don't even know, that was just like a normal forest. If I had gone towards the normal forest, it just wasn't worth it. I didn't see a village, like, immediately in the forest, so I didn't think it was worth it to move slowly. Especially with how far away I was getting from the lava pool. Basically just completely eliminates that factor. But I have found another lava pool. Yeah. Alright, well this is a good one. Good one! But, uh, the only reason I cared to continue in that world was because of the lava pool. So if I'm just completely eliminating the thing that excited me about the world, why am I still playing it? Why am I still playing it? The answer is I'm not. Eh, okay. Yeah, another garbage one. You can't really explore... Well, I mean, Dark Oak... Do villages even spawn in Dark Oak? It's too dense, right? I don't think you can find a village in a Dark Oak forest. I might be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure you can't, though. So... Dark Oak is a complete waste of time. You can find villages in the snowy biomes, but... It's not really worth it because they don't have any food in them, so it's it's basically just a waste of time. I mean, you get the iron, I guess, but... Oh, that's a beehive! I was like, what the fuck's up with that weird-looking log? I really should be using, uh... Control to sprint in all likelihood. Should maybe rebind it, too, because Control's a little awkward for me to press, but... Ooh, quick crafting. How'd you get so good? How'd you get so good? <laughs> I'll pick that up later. Strats. Uh, not strats. I'd say accidentally swimming is uh, about as slow as you can get. Also, fuck, I forgot to craft a stone pick, but whatever. It's like marginally faster. I'll just uh, take the hit. Go a little bit slower. Alright. Uh, I'm probably not going to keep this run going anyway, so... Uh, doesn't really matter. Does not really matter. I was also very confused in crafting those tools there, because... 
Normally I already have the pickaxe, but I, you know, I worked it out. I got there. Alright, I mean, there is a plains, so I guess that is something to be excited about. I'm wasting all of my sprint, though, and uh, if I don't find a village pretty quickly, then I'll, uh, I'll actually be able to, or be unable to continue the run. Because if you don't have sprint, it, it's dead. It's dead. I say that when, like, probably my best run was that one with Mentor, even though, you know, technically it's uh, not very fair, because at that point it was seeded, and I had tried the seed multiple times before that point. Um, but I did lose a solid, like, ten minutes to getting mining fatigue and not having a workbench, breaking my pickaxe. I would, you know, I'd maybe go so far as to say I lost like 20 minutes doing that bullshit. It was a huge waste of time. So, you know, technically it's not the end of the world if you run out of sprint for like a few seconds at the start of the run, but not finding a village is, uh, that's, that's a death sentence. As, uh, you can no longer continue kind of deal. Dude, I like uh, swimming up waterfalls now. Like, swimming up waterfalls used to be slow as fuck, but since the uh, ocean update where you can sprint in water, it's actually really fast. Yeah, there's nothing. And even if I did find a village at this point, it would be snowy and not have any food. Outside of the food you get in chests, but it's uh, basically nothing. And also, you wouldn't get a uh, hay bale. I guess you could craft a hay bale if they had wheat, but the likelihood that the wheat is going to be grown is not high. So, yeah, no hay bale means you can't really go fast in the nether. Not that you necessarily have to if you just get lucky with the nether fortress, but when has that ever happened? Is this another fucking island? Please tell me yes. Make my dreams come true, dude. I love island starts. I don't even know, like, I'm getting the wood because, like, uh, I can't really tell if it's an island yet. Oh, this is island as fuck. This is the most island thing I've ever seen. Oh, God. Like, in survival, it's actually really fucking cool to get spawn points like this. <laughs> Not so much when you're trying to go fast. But, like, this is the most isolated island I have ever seen as a spawn point. Uh, the terrain in the ground there makes it look like that might be more land over there. Uh, yeah, there's like a tiny amount of land over there, but I mean, damn, dude. This is, uh, this is really out there. In the middle of the fucking ocean. With absolutely nothing. That's another very small island, it looks like, but yeah. We're in the we're in the archipelagos, which again, <laughs> I hate the English language. They're archipelagos, right? Not archipelagos. Uh, archipelagos sounds disgusting. I'm gonna assume I was definitely right the first time. You can never be too sure with English. You can never be too sure. All right, let's let's give New World Six a try. See how that goes. Surprisingly not as laggy. Not as laggy as it was uh, when I was doing the race. Maybe that's because Discord was taking up a bit of CPU. I mean, it really shouldn't take that much, but... That's the only thing I can think of. But it does definitely feel smoother. So that's nice. Turns out I don't immediately need a new PC. I just, like, <laughs> need a new PC within, like, a month or so. That's not immediate. You can live with that. I have been saving up, though. Like, if I wanted to, like, it would be a huge expense, obviously. But if I wanted to, I, uh... I 
could probably splurge a bit and build a new PC. I would start from scratch first and foremost because, god, I, I fucking hate... <laughs> like, <laughs> I distracted myself with my own phrasing, but like, I hate using sayings like that first and foremost uh, within 30 minutes of each other. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I feel like, you know, I should I should be more creative than that. I've been on this earth for 23 years speaking the English language. Yes, including as a baby. Uh, I should I should be better. <laughs> Endeavor to be better. But anyways, I um yeah I would probably start from scrap honestly because uh, I'm definitely going to have to replace my motherboard and. Everything else is way easier to replace, so if you're replacing the motherboard, you might as well swap things out while you're doing that. Um, obviously, I would need a new CPU because the chipset would be different. But um, yeah, graphics card, sure, why not? Uh, I, I, you know, I would probably keep the same PSU because there is no real reason to swap out PSUs unless it's broken, or you need the extra power. But mine is. It is using maybe like 30% of the PSU's power currently, so I, I could definitely throw some more on that bad boy before needing a new one. Uh, this is a garbage seed. But yeah, that's probably the only part I would keep. Well, and my solid states. But that's given. Because I'm a fucking stupid... What was that world... What world was that? If, whatever. It literally doesn't matter at all. I'm going with World 7. Um, yeah, because I'm a big dummy. I have a lot of stuff on my C drive where Windows is, so... Swapping over things to the new PC would be a little bit tedious. But I do have, like, a fairly empty external drive, like, somewhere lying around, so... I can just throw some stuff on the external drive and swap it. It's not that big of a deal. The biggest thing is the cost. <laughs> like, it's, uh, it's a big decision to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll drop, like, I'll drop a few hundred bucks on this. I also really want a new case, which is, like, super, I don't know, it seems vanity, uh, but I promise it's not, because, like, it's actually really fucking tedious to get in my current case. It's, uh, it's pretty bulky. It's, like, overly flashy. Like, it has a bunch of, uh, external plastic pieces that just kind of make it bigger for no good reason. Um, and most importantly, swapping out fans is a huge hassle. So, like, I would like a few extra case fans, but, like, to get into there, you have to pry out like, the faceplate of the case. And it's got, like, these hard plastic pegs that are supposed to easily bend and, like, snap in and out, but it is... it feels like I'm going to destroy the case every single time I do it. Not my favorite design. Uh, so if I... if I could afford a new case, I would probably go for it. But, you know, obviously that's, uh... That's, not priority number one when it comes to picking new parts. Dude, I even found a desert and I'm still not getting a village. This is maybe the longest I've gone without finding a village. I've been good. Where's my village? Am I not deserving enough? It's I used up all of the fucking luck I owned on that, uh... Race seed with Mentor. I didn't even use my luck! <laughs> he made the seed. That's his luck. Where's my luck? I guess my luck is already all washed up. Won too many raffles in elementary school. Eh, there's a lava pool. I mean, it still chunks every now and then when I'm loading terrain. I, you know. That's expected. I, Minecraft itself is fairly resource heavy and throw streaming on top of that which is abundantly resource heavy it is a recipe for chunking 
bits. I'm not surprised, but it would be nice. <laughs> it would definitely be nice if I didn't chunk all over the place. Especially, like, right at the start of Nether, it gets really bad. Nether generation in general is just a little bit slower. Ah, <sighs> nothing. And I'm out of food. Dude, I'm fucking sick of these runs. <laughs> Where? Oh, I didn't even start the timer on that one. Whoops. Good. Good thing it was garbage. Where are my villages? Where have they gone? I mean, this is what I expected. Not exactly what I expected. I did expect to find a village by this point, but I expected to spend a long time without getting a single run. That's just kind of how Minecraft is, though. Like, when you speedrun Minecraft, you can expect over... I don't know. Depending on how hard you're pushing it, definitely could be over 99% of runs being resets. But I think a safe guess would say about 95% are resets. I probably could have made that jump, but... Uh, planes? Sure. Planes, planes, as far as the eye can see. No village, though. Not within immediate vision, at least. If I was to swap it up today, I don't really know what I would want to do. I'm not super feeling Grimrock today. I don't know why. I do have, uh desire to complete it. But I don't have the most desire to play it today. I was really fucking hoping we could get that race going, man. It's been too long. It's been too long. It's unfortunate. I miss the days of every single Saturday. Not even having to ask if we're going to do a blind race. That was just the default. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Everyone got too busy. It's fair. It's fair. I mean, I've been pretty busy too, but fortunately they haven't fallen on Saturdays. If I am to work on a weekend, it's usually Sundays, because that's when uh, GameStops do their marketing changes. So it's both one of the busiest days, and also <laughs> one of the busiest days. Because you get a lot of customers, and also have to change a bunch of marketing shit all over the store. It's a lot of fun, really. One of my favorite parts of the job. Oh, that was sick, dude. You see that? That was speed. Oh, look at that! There you go. Oh, legendary gamer status. I, I fucking... <laughs> What's going on, man? Did I accidentally change the setting that makes it so no villages show up? Turned off structure generation. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. It's so weird that, uh, this became popular. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, like, Minecraft itself had, like, a bit of a resurgence as a whole, but it's weird that Minecraft speedrunning kicked off in any big way, given how miserable it is. Like, I don't feel like I need to be careful with my words. I think that most people generally agree that resetting until you get the 1 in 1,000 seed where you can actually do something. Uh, not the most entertaining. That's not fair, though. I would say, like, let me think about that. Where would I put the odds? Given that, like, 300 people, I don't know the total number of people who have submitted runs, though. I didn't check that. Uh, just looking at the sample size of 300 that have, like, it's probably over 300. Let's, let's say 300 that have a sub-one hour. 
Uh, I don't care about this run. Oh, let's go, dude. I don't know if I would have died if I fell the extra block, but I felt cool doing that. If we assume that it's just like 300 people that have a uh, sub one hour run. I would say one in every 20 runs probably has potential to get sub one hour. But if you're going for world record, that's actually like one in a fucking million. Like, you just have to get abundantly lucky and also be incredibly fast. Uh, but the luck aspect of it is just, it's too much, man. Village, lava pool, nether fortress. Not as much ender pearl luck uh, on 1.16.1, but still a little bit of ender pearl luck. And, uh, portal room. Finding the end portal. This is just hell. Fuck this one. I didn't even start the timer, so. <laughs> but yeah, finding the end portal is a much more miserable experience than it would seem when you watch other people who have good runs. It's like the observer bias? One of those biases. Um, yeah, when you only look at, like, the good successful runs, you don't really get a scope for how fucking rare it is that those kind of things actually happen. Oh, this is an interesting start. Lava pool is nice. Oh, dude, I fucking hate that. It's like the absolute fucking worst is, uh... I should get a tree first, I guess. But yeah, I, I really fucking hate the chest being completely buried in sand meme. It happens so often. Alright, let's see if I can find a village. If I find a village relatively quickly, if it has a blacksmith that has iron to make a pickaxe or just straight up a pickaxe, I could run back here, get a gold block, and uh, pop another portal in the lava pool. Bada bing, bada boom. Coordinates, just in case. Yeah, it's like basically zero, zero. Basically. <sighs> I'm not super optimistic. Why should I be, given my past experiences? It's just wide fucking open. Nothing in sight. This is my norm. Oh, shit, dude! Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that a village? That house looks so big. What is that? Yeah, it is a village. Okay, lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, I'm glad I got the, the wood. You know what? There's stone right there. It's, uh... Let's do it up. Oh my god, separate lava pool. Fuck the other one. Uh, actually, I there's cobblestone in this village. Uh, I don't want to mine around the lava. I should have known, like, when you see surface stone like that, that means lava pool. Okay, actually fast. Uh, panicking. <laughs> I get too fucking nervous when there's an actual shot of victory. Let's not get too optimistic, though. It all depends on, uh, nether luck, honestly. So, calm my nerves a little bit. It's, it's only just the beginning. Hitting my fucking mouse on my keyboard doesn't help, though. Yeah, I was gonna be really upset if that was a staircase or something. Because I couldn't really tell if that was a full stone block. Uh, only care about the bed, honestly. Er, bread. <laughs> and bed! But, I meant to say bread. And let's get a couple extra logs to uh, to make a shield with, if I get lucky. There's three... Oh, fuck! Four beds in this house layout. 
Oops. I thought it was only three. Uh, that's the one I broke into. Don't be stupid. Well, be stupid. Because you can't avoid it. But keep it in moderation, please, Will. Stupid in moderation. Feeling good. It's been a while since I got a run that looked like this. So. Five! Okay! Woo! Ah. I really need to get lucky on the iron, because I fucking suck, dude. Like, straight up, I'm just gonna be real. I fucking suck at killing, uh, killing blazes, so I really fucking need a shield. And it feels good to get one. Wait, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven? Eight. I have eight beds. Okay. Oh god, this is so slow. I don't know why I did it like this. <laughs> this is like the most awkward inventory sorting. Fuck, I didn't mean to press F3. Okay, just stop panicking. Just, just go. You fucking... Ah, I need food. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is only, what, seed 11 or 12 or something? Um, there's no reason to get too panicked. I I haven't been going for that long. Where's the lava pool? Is it ever... Oh, fuck. Where was the lava pool? This is where I sh... No. Where did I come from? Yeah, no, this is the direction I came from. Where is it? Dude, I'm so bad. Where was it? I remember it being closer towards the grass, right? There it is, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, 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 I see the stone, I see the stone. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, not panicked. Actually feeling very good about things. Thank you for having water here, because I actually needed that. And I also need gravel, but, like, that's not really top priority at the moment. Oh, fuck, I need... Mm. Slow and stupid. Uh, ba -ba -ba, turn all but one of those into wheat. I'm a little light on food, honestly, but I think I can live with it. Okay, I guess technically I, I don't need... I don't necessarily need... Gravel. It would be nice, but it's not a strict requirement, and yeah, I'm not finding it anywhere, so. Uh, just getting some blocks to make the portal with. Uh, oops, let's go this way. Nice. Oh, uh, I didn't get the water in the bucket. Very cool. Good strategy, Will. Everyone is enamored. Yes, okay. God, I, I'm very slow at uh, remembering the pattern. I was scared I was going to walk into the lava there, so I was extra careful. More so than I should have been. Okay, uh, now's the part where I do this, and it's really fucking embarrassing, and that, honestly, that won't even work. That won't work, Will. That won't work, because of, uh, this. I could maybe, okay, here. This is, like, my best bet, is, uh, ba, ba, ba. That's the rest of my planks, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay, there's a decent water pool. Sorry, Mike. It's a decent water pool. I'm gonna run here, look for gravel. I probably could have gotten gravel earlier. I probably ran straight past some. Oh, it's seriously one block deep and all of it is fucking sand. Ah. Okay. Let's uh let's move back towards the plains then. If the portal's lit, I'll just run back, but it's not. Okay. It's fine. That's fine. The fire is getting started, but it's on the wrong side. It's probably not going to do anything. There's really... Yeah, there's no gravel in there. I already checked. 
How about this one? Like, it's usually around water. Oh god, no. The diorite gave me hope. <laughs> no, dude. Did I? No, I didn't. That was an earlier run that I picked up a single piece of gravel. God damn it. <laughs> Why is this... How this is going to get slow. I, I could have had such a fast nether entrance. Like, it, it's still going to be relatively quick if I find gravel. I'm trying to see if the fucking portal's open. It is. I'm just going. Okay. Not having flint and steel is a bit shitty, but I did try and find gravel. It's really not that big of a deal, though. Like, what do you... I, I guess it would be nice to get some cooked food while running to the uh, stronghold, but it's no big deal. It's fine. I'm fine. Oh, no, dude! Solid nether! Ugh. So, yeah, this is exactly <laughs> what it looked like on my, uh, my server with my girlfriend. I find Why is this possible? Why is solid nether a fucking thing that you can just stumble upon? Please tell me this is not how this ends, is solid fucking nether. That would be the absolute worst. Like, the amount of demotivation I would have. Uh, I'm like at- I'm level 70, so if I go in a straight line for long enough, I, I should just break out. Sometimes! I mean, I have past experience of it, sometimes you can go in a straight line for a very, very long time. And still not break out, but... I'm gonna keep looking at the bottom right and try and find, like, picklin noises or anything that I can walk towards. Nothing. I'm just hearing my own footsteps and my own block breaking. Ugh, I fucking hate this. I, uh, <laughs> I don't really have that much stone. Like, I... I, I can't really sacrifice that much digging in a straight fucking line. I This is so miserable. Oh! Oh! You're fucking kidding me. Oops. That's not... That is, this is not what I want. I want to be eating. I want to... Where'd my fucking food go? Wow. I... I fat-fingered, like, every fucking button possible there. You know what? I'm gonna respawn this one. I'm gonna respawn. I am going to... Do I have cheats enabled? No. Uh, can I enable that in options or something? Uh... You can do that if you edit the world, right? We're fucking... <laughs> We're checking out what's going on here. Am I crazy? Is there really no way of doing it? I guess I can recreate the world, huh? There you go. Allow cheats. Let's recreate the world, and uh, I'm going to go into spectator mode and see just how solid that nether was. See if maybe I just went in the wrong direction, or if I was actually completely fucked there. Like, obviously it would be fucking hilarious if... Uh, If I just checked it out and... Wh which direction did I go in? Fuck. I'm gonna assume it was this way. It would obviously be hilarious if I... Look in the opposite direction of where I dug, and it's just like... <laughs> three blocks, and then you immediately enter another fortress. That'd be, that'd be funny. I'd appreciate it. And I'm gonna build the portal in the exact same spot. He's done it. Achievement master. Uh, I think it was, like, right here. It would be one block lower, but it, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, flint and steel. There you go. The tool I never had. Oh, you go through it so fast in the nether. Alright. Uh, oops. Nope. Which direction did I dig? I dug... Which direction did I dig? 
The fuck? I'm not seeing where I died. No, it must have been this. Yeah, this is where I dug. Dude, first off, unlucky. <laughs> I mean, I should have stopped and been more hesitant. But secondly, like, I don't know. I This isn't really that much better. I immediately go into this fucking biome. Let's see how close the nearest fortress is. I think there's a command that lets you check for that, but I don't fucking know what it is. Like, there's my portal. I, it is really fucking solid, too. Just straight up, let's let's talk about the solid factor of where I spawned in the nether. Uh, like, all of these are just single pocket of lava blocks, because that's something that happens in the nether. So if you ignore those, like, the actual open terrain, if I was digging in a straight line, I never would have found that. If I was digging a straight line, I would have found that and gone up, but still. Uh, I think I would have, yeah, I would have skirted, like, right over this and not found this. Uh, and it would have been a really fucking long way. I probably would have missed that, too. If I had gone in this direction, I just would have... I would have broken my tools before I found anything interesting. But, yeah, let's see. Let's see if I did escape in this direction, where would I, in all likelihood, go? Probably, probably try this way. That seems likely. Uh, fortress, fortress. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and just a lot of fucking soul sand, huh? This is just that biome forever. And then eventually you enter nether wastes. Uh, still no fortress in sight. Alright, I, I don't feel particularly bad for for losing this one. I'm, uh, you know, I'll, I'll count that as a blessing. Because what probably would have happened if I didn't die there is I would have spent the next 30 minutes looking in the nether not finding literally anything. Um, wow. Yeah, so, like I said, uh... <laughs> It really all boils down to nether. <laughs> like, yeah, you're gonna do a lot of resetting to even start a run. That much is understood. Pretty much everybody gets that, uh... It's gonna take a while before you get a village and a lava pool pretty close to each other. Um, but even still, you can look for a lava pool for a fair bit of time and still get in the nether around ten minutes or so. Uh, which is all that really matters, for at least my level of care. <laughs> um, so starting a run, not that bad. As soon as you hit the nether, though, <laughs> if you don't find a fucking fortress quickly, that's the end of your run. That is... Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, that is that is the end, immediately. I was so fucking happy when I got that 5 iron from that golem, too. Does not matter. Does not matter. <laughs> I find it wild that... Uh, people are confident fighting blazes without getting a shield. Like, how, what's that like, being good at video games? Somebody show me the way. It honestly probably is a pretty good strat to just throw my wood on the ground since I'm going to pick it up again anyways. Ba -ba -ba. But I'll continue being slow. Oh, this is a blacksmith. Ah! Okay, yeah. We're all very proud of you, Lava. <laughs> God. I, uh, forgot that's how that generated. So this is potentially good. I got uh, one extra stone than I normally get, but not that big of a deal. It's not like I'm going to be upset for the extra stone. Okay, all I care about is iron. No. That's like the worst of all worlds because boots are the thing you're going to replace with uh, golden boots as soon as you get to the nether. Worst of all fucking worlds, man. That's fine. It's fine. Am I upset by it? Yeah. 
but is it the end of the world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not really. It'll be okay. I'll be fine. Uh, this village is kind of shit, though. Like, just being real with you. I'm not seeing a super abundance of beds. You can continue if you don't get a decent amount of beds. Like, I feel comfortable at 7. I would really like 8, though. Um, but if I don't get that, I can always kill sheep on the way to the stronghold, so... Beds are not as important as the food and iron you get from the village. What the fuck? Is this another stable? There's more fucking animals that live here than people. You raised in a barn? What? Crafting. Potions. I don't remember if beds spawn here, but I might as well check. No, they do not. No, they do not. And that's the end of that village, huh? I got three beds. Are you fucking kidding me? It's embarrassing. Uh, I only got four iron, too. What a shit village. Okay. I'll still live with it, even though it is complete trash-ass garbage. I don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Spawning on top of a, vi a village is like a, a gift enough in itself. So I won't complain. It at least lets me play the game for a little bit. Not for a long bit, but for a little bit. I get to pretend like I'm having fun. Am I not sprinting? What the fuck? I feel like I'm going extra slow in F5 mode, probably because of the zoomed out perspective. Making me realize how slow Minecraft man- Oh, wow, two villages. It's a little bit slow to plunder both of these, but I'm not going to complain. I'll definitely investigate it for the extra iron and, uh... Beds, most importantly. But the iron is nice. Gets me a shield. Which I was asking for. I mean, it's overkill to get as much food as I'm getting, but... I'm an overkill kind of guy. Okay. Start getting beds. What? What? What are you doing in this house? Fuck you. <laughs> Was that, like, a demonstration on how concrete is made or something? Or terracotta? I saw clay. It's probably terracotta, not concrete. Uh, what? And six beds? Get a couple more and I'll feel safe. I mean, nine is, like, super overkill, but I'd say I was an overkill kind of guy. Anything past 9 is just, uh, like, actively bad, though. Because you have to go into your inventory to swap them out, and it's just a waste of time. The dragon would regenerate HP before that actually ends up being useful. How is that not a crit? Okay, let's uh, let's do some crafting. Let's. Oh, I didn't get extra wood. Oh, that's actually a, a big fucking deal. Oh, okay. Let's not do that yet then. Yeah, but being in the desert means I am not going to be able to get extra wood because I'm fucking stupid. Uh, let's just get a ridiculous amount of bread, and I can make the shield later if I really care to. I picked that up, right? Yeah, okay. Time to run in the desert in a mostly straight line looking for a lava pool that I may or may not ever find. Nope. I'm trying, though. You gotta be looking for the stone. Or, like, little divots in the ground like that are also suspicious, but... Yeah, that's just nothing. That's nothing. I already got gravel, so that's taken care of. I could get the extra wood I need here. That's just a cave. 
let's swing by and get some wood here. And then turn right towards more desert. Just a quick little detour. So that I can uh, make a shield. Ah, <sighs> this is this is what I come to expect, I guess. Oh, big cactus though. Moderately sized large cactus boy. Another village. It's uh, you know, the joke is run dry by this point. Pretty soon my patience will as well. We get it. You uh you feel bad. Oh, that's actually Two desert temples, back to back, along with a village. Wow, you're really going to show me stone, but no lava. This is very close desert temple. Like, all of the luck has gone into this seed, except for the lava pool. No lava pool in sight. Oh my god, another fucking village. They, they really feel bad for how many seeds in a row I went without finding a village. As soon as it turns nighttime, uh, then it becomes, like, infinitely easier to find a lava pool, so I'm not stressing too much. I know that in, like, three or so minutes, it'll be a guarantee that I find one. Obviously, you would like to find it before that time period runs up, because fast. But if I can't, I can't. I'm going to go in the plains, because sometimes it's a little bit more obvious when it burns grass, like that. That right there. I would not have seen that if not for the burning grass. I don't have fucking... Uh, why do I never get water in my bucket? I pass through like a fucking river. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. It hurts. Whatever. I can probably find water in the plains easier than going back towards the desert, if I had to guess. All right, let's 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 open up F5. There you go. Yeah, water is never too far away in the plains. That should be the easy part. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this right now. Oops. There you go. Uh, yeah, this will work. Uh, pff, why put it out of my hotbar? Sometimes I really fucking wonder about myself, man. What? I hate it when that happens. It's like, you break the block on the perfect tick for, uh, oh, what am I doing? On the perfect tick for the lava to immediately get swallowed up. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm stressed, because <laughs> I... Did that very slowly. Did I really not pick up that fucking bucket of water? Ugh, I fucking hate that. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't even need a workbench for this. Okay. I can make a shield when I get closer to a fortress, if I find a fortress. It's not really important before then. Ah, uh, like negative 75, negative 75. <laughs> it's close enough on my coordinates. Uh, one, two, those are the only two I really care about. I guess, uh, nah, three, yeah, four is good. Oh no, dude. N not a good start as far as uh, being able to traverse this fucking place. Just in general, just a little bit laggy here, so. Also doesn't make me feel very confident about traversal. I should pick up some blackstone while I'm here in case my pick breaks, though. I don't have that much cobblestone, and I didn't mine it back up after I made the portal. Oh, uh, what am I doing? No water bucket. That's what I need. Okay. <laughs> don't worry about it. Would you believe it if I told you I practiced that a bit before I hit start stream? Uh, maybe that's the kind of thing I should keep to myself. <laughs> After such an embarrassing display. This does not look like I'm going to be happy <laughs> when I get over this hill. This looks like a dead end and a half. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. I did expect it. Oh, it actually goes through! Very slowly and awkwardly, but it does go through. Did not swap to the right tool there. This is, this is miserable. Wouldn't recommend anybody do what I'm doing here. Just about the worst navigatable terrain I've ever come across. Uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't do this. This is not fast. I, I fucking hate this. There you go. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay. Big fucking news, though. Huge. Huge discovery. All right. Let's get some blocks so that I can actually build over there. That's priority number one. Uh, yeah, just fucking... Who cares about flint and steel on the hotbar? Do not get pushed over by magma slime again. That was pathetic last time. And no, I am not going to let go of my shift button <laughs> to make myself go microscopically faster. Uh, let's try and make a bit of a staircase here. It's, it's going to be a little bit slower, but I'm going to appreciate it when I come back down, since I don't have to completely break my legs. Just, like, mostly break my legs. These blocks are actually very good blast-resistant blocks, too, so I should use these when I, uh, in making the base to stand on to use the beds on the Ender Dragon, assuming I get that far. I should really let go of the shift button, huh? If you want to sacrifice your life to get, like, a few extra milliseconds, go for it, but I'm fine wasting the milliseconds for safety. I should really build a shield at this point. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Why do I hear a magma slime in here? just makes me mad more than anything. Oh god. Okay. We got there. Worst case scenario, I die. No biggie. Is this immediately a blaze spawner, or is this just a lucky two blaze spawn with a- oh! With actually- uh, scratch the lucky part, this just sucks. They can't go through here. Okay. No... Oh, wow, lag. No blaze spawner, though. The fuck is this? The garbage. Garbage is what that is. That is outside. I'll pass on that. Pass on that one, but thanks for the offer. Is that a... Yep, it is. It's scary. Hit me. <laughs> I do not trust the withers at all. Where are these coming from? Makes me think there is a spawner nearby. Ooh. No, I think I'm just getting lucky with the spawns, honestly. Or unlucky, depending on how you look at things. No, there, there's definitely something fishy. They, they spawned, like, on top of me. Okay, that's bad. Duck in the corner so I can eat food. You don't get the most saturation in the world from, uh, from eating bread. Are you fucking kidding me? I did everything within my ability to not get hit there. He, like, snuck it underneath my shield. I mean, you know, he is a legend. I'll give him that. Great fucking shot. But, not helping my cause here. I don't like the sound of this tunnel. <laughs> the idea of this tunnel. Yeah, I feel like I'm, well... Most of the time when I find really long tunnels like that, they don't really lead anywhere productive, but this one seems to have led me to a spawner. So there was a spawner above the floor there. It felt like it. 
Although those may have still been lucky spawns. It's hard to tell. For sure. Uh, three. Three so far. What do I want to... Yeah, I have enough of these that I can just do that. Give me the money! Come on! I should also, just really quickly... You know what? That was not smart. Uh, none of this is smart. <laughs> Actually, I'm feeling quite stupid right now. I do want the extra pick, though. Stupidity aside, I did do one of the things I wanted, just not very quickly. Not that it matters, because I'm, uh... Waiting on spawns, anyways. Oops. It's, again, stupid. Need to make sticks first. You really, really still not spawning, huh? I can give him some more spawning spots. Oh, hello! <laughs> Speak of the devil. But uh, yeah, the, the ceiling is blocking a little bit of the spawn location. So is the floor, but, you know, let's not be absurd. Okay. I would feel confident uh, if I got seven, but I should probably endeavor to get eight. I really do have a baby face without the beard. You checked out my VODs. I really do. I told you. I did tell you. Didn't believe me. Why didn't I pick this back up earlier? Alright, I don't need any more of those blocks. Uh, honestly, don't really need any more blackstone. Sort this out a little bit. Should maybe have that on hotbar. After food. Okay, I'm going back to safety. <sighs> Why did I pick that up again? Probably because I walked over it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait till I get a bit more HP. <laughs> I'm surprised I actually... Like, I don't know. I guess I'm not that surprised, but... I was slightly surprised that I haven't been, uh... <laughs> questioned on my ID, since my ID is my baby face, and... Wow, I... Ooh, I might die. My ID is my baby face, and I don't have that when I have a beard. That was very scary. For those not keeping track at home. God damn it. I'm so stupid. Yeah, he spawned on me. Fuck, dude! Why do I throw it away every time? Ugh. I need to not be so risky when I fight blazes. At the same time, like, okay, if I really cared, I could go back. Did I... No. No, okay, yeah, I did find that village first. I just spawned slightly far away. Um, oh, oh, dude. Dude. I got a little bit unlucky with how many blazes I had to kill there. But I also suck. I just, I don't know, I prioritize speed over all safety, which is not a good idea. I should be a little bit more safe, but... <sighs> like, I won't let go of shift to to gain the extra milliseconds, but I will dive headfirst into a blaze spawner with three hearts. Not my best strategy. Alright, now I gotta wait another 10 or 15 seeds until I get that lucky again. Actually, with the nether fortress luck, that's probably like a... That's maybe like a 1 in 100 seed. So, gonna be a while till I earn another one of those. I, uh, key word is earn there, because everybody knows that only the highest of skilled players get lucky. Is this another buried chest situation? Yes. Okay. Very cool. Thanks for sharing. I guess I'll go towards the plane? I don't know, this savanna, I don't really know how biomes generate, I've, I've talked about it before, I 
am not 100% certain if there is some sort of temperature map that tries to be kept. I don't think there really is. Maybe, like, slightly, but... The game has no issue taking you from a savanna biome to a taiga biome. Um... But I feel like it is more likely that you'll find, like, a desert or something adjacent to a savanna. So I pick this one. It's not like it's that much harder to traverse than a, a plains biome would be. And I, I feel like they have at least equal likelihood of spawning a village. I might be wrong on that. But I feel like I've had uh, as good of a luck, <laughs> a luck, as good of a luck with savanna biomes that I have with plains biomes. I'm finding nothing, though. It's just one of those seeds. Gives you hope and takes it all away. The biomes were nice. But you can't really do much with it unless you get... Oh, there was a desert. You can't do much with it unless you get a village. I'll go in the desert for a little bit longer. Ah, uh, there's a desert temple. Not that great. But, it's something. <laughs> I'm probably not going to go into it, because I don't really care about this. It is something, though. It is something. Yeah, no village. Probably shouldn't be sacrificing my logs like this, but... <laughs> I have no hope... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to continue that sentence by saying I have no hope that this is going anywhere, and here it goes. Still probably not going anywhere. If it does go somewhere, I will feel stupid for throwing away those logs like that. But only slightly stupid. I can live with that. Partial stupidity is is my... It's really my best. That's me at my prime. But if I do find a lava pool, and if that lava pool does lead to a pretty fast fortress, I'll feel bad for wasting the time. I'm gonna run out of food here. Yeah, that sucks. Just get one piece of gravel is all I care about. You can't sprint in water either, right? Yeah. I figured does technically count as sprinting. I mean, you do the same inputs for it. This is very slow. I don't even know... What I Do I want to craft tools here? I, I've done this in such a dumb fuck order. Uh, I don't think that house has beds. That template. Uh, what am I doing, man? This is so bad. Okay. Good start. <laughs> continuing the greatness that I've set a precedent for. I don't necessarily feel good about killing that guy with no weapon, so I'm gonna ignore him for a bit. This is just awful. I don't even think there's that many opportunity for beds in this village either. I think I'm just gonna reset this anyways. It took me a long time to find the village. I was stupid and bad. Oh, fuck no, dude. I have to keep it going. Ah, it's so slow and bad, though. I have, like, no desire to keep this up. Like, there really are no beds in this village, either. And I'm lagging. Awesome. The, the beds is killer, though. One bed. I actually think that's all the village is going to have. I think, yep, this is a one-bed village. That's it. That's all you get. Very cool. I could find more villages on the way to the Stronghold, so, you know, so long as I got the food from the village and the iron, those are the two most important parts. Like, just checking. Oh, there are beds in here. I'm stupid. Just one, though? Just one bed? Two beds. 
Oh, I, I feel stupider than I was already feeling, but still not that optimistic in this. Unless I get, like, absolutely godly nether luck. Uh, I've wasted so much fucking time. Where is the fucking golem, dude? Please? This is why I don't like ignoring them. You leave them alone for five seconds and they're just gone. Just entirely gone. Okay, you think he'll get on the cactus if I tempt him? No. Well, this is gonna take the entire rest of my life. Here we go. These guys have a lot of HP. But I should endeavor to do it slightly faster, I guess. It's two-thirds of his HP gone. Uh, maybe it's not? I thought that noise meant a third. Maybe it's a quarter of his HP. I don't remember how many phases his uh, damage status has. Took long enough. And uh, are you fucking kidding me? Of course, of course this, this seed would also have the minimum amount of iron. Of course it would. Really just, it adds up when you think about it. It just makes a bunch of sense. All right. Lava pool was this direction? Yeah. Let's, uh... Ah, I guess I can craft tools here very slowly and ineffectively. I might as well just hold on to the... Nah, fine, I'll make a stone one. I was gonna say I might as well just hold on to the wooden one the entire duration, but I'll, I'll be fast. If I must, I'll be fast. Don't break that one. That would be a bad one. It all depends on... I don't even need the hoe, honestly. Just save the stone. Oh, I didn't want to make two shovels, but that is how that works when you're stupid. Okay. Uh, yeah, hay bale is how I would like to have that. Beds can go up there. This is not the time to be sorting my inventory, but I'm doing it because I'm stupid. Oops, there we go. Here we go. Really? Of course it would be one block off. Oops. Very slow, man. Like, I don't have to be fast, you know? It definitely feels better when I am fast, though. Alright, and now because I didn't get enough to make a flint and steel, I have to do this again. But this time it's actually, like, mandatory, and I just have to wait for it. I guess it'll be twice as fast if I do that, right? <laughs> Ugh. It'll probably also be faster if I do this. There you go, now it can try and burn from both sides. Come on, I believe in you. You can do it. Slowly but surely. Do I care to have a water bucket? I guess when I'm in the overworld, it's still nice to, uh, to be able to splash. Not getting any fire ignition, that's what you like to see. Is there anything else I could be doing right now? This is where I should have been sorting my inventory, but... Okay, here we go. Oh! Come on! Bridge... Nope, it just instantly burned. Awesome. 
All right, let's let's try that again, I guess. Let's let's go and get some more wood while I wait, I guess. Who knows how long that's going to take. Don't know why I'm still doing this one. I'm just banking on it, you know. I I could still get like a very easy sub one hour if I get lucky in the nether. Like that's where all of the time is wasted in runs. So if I get lucky there, that's the majority of the work. Just gotta hope on it. But it is a truly cursed run. I don't think the portal is lit. No, no it is not. <sighs> Do I need a... yep, I need to fix it also. Why is this not working as well as it did last time? Don't. Dude. Bro. Stop. Come on. Uh, please, I'm busy. I'm working on things at the moment. This isn't your time. What do these guys do when they hit you? Nothing? I thought they had special status effects. I know the, uh, snow skeleton slows you, I think. <laughs> okay. You're all very proud of you, Creeper. Ah. <sighs> Come on, man. There you go. Guess I should get rid of the lava after doing that so it doesn't flood in. That's probably what messed up the portal last time, if I had to guess. Well, you can bridge the gap there. I believe in you. Oh, there you go. I think it just has to... I, I didn't actually realize that. The fire just has to be anywhere in the middle. It's actually much easier to... To do than I thought it was. Where am I? Oh, are you fucking ki Are you- are you absolutely for real? Like... I- <laughs> I spawned into the nether, walked forward because there was ground in front of me, <laughs> and then it was gone? W what happened there? Like, I- I lagged. You know, I can safely talk about that part. I'm not going to go do the same thing I did last time. I'm just going to run, because it shouldn't be that far away. I know where I'm headed. I just want to fucking go in that portal again and see what actually happened there. Because I really feel like I just either fell through the ground or the game lied to me about there being ground there at all. Like, there was definitely ground there when I started holding forward, I think. <laughs> Might be wrong. Okay, but yeah, that that is that is like the biggest downside of a uh, little little bit of laggy waggy. Breaks my heart. I could have been so much faster if I didn't go towards the savanna and just went around it. If I had seen the desert, but I didn't see the desert, so. <sighs> what what went wrong, man? <laughs> what went wrong? You know, it probably started going wrong as soon as I used my only four logs to go microscopically faster. Uh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't respect him. You know, that is actually just an objective advantage to control for sprint. I just noticed, like I, I did on accident. No, okay. There was ground. I don't know, like I did not hold forward long enough to, oh well first off, that, that that's very cool. I didn't hold forward long enough to fall off of that ground though, so very confused as to how I died the first time I went through. Oh my god. I would have liked to have checked around and seen how close a fortress was, but yeah, that, that world was cursed. Just fucking pretend it never happened. 
Pretend it never happened. Uh, why did I just fucking 14? There you go. Didn't mean to delete it. It was just absentmindedly hitting backspace. Oh, God. An hour and 20 minutes so far. And uh, one pretty good attempt. A lot of garbage, though. And I wish I didn't throw away that good attempt I had, because it actually could have gone somewhere. I mean, any run can go somewhere, but that one had a, a chance of going somewhere in less than an hour, which is what I'm trying to. Not even just less than an hour. Like, if I was better, that seed would probably have been like a sub-40, I would say. Like, I still had to walk a little bit before I got to the fortress, so... I don't think it's, like, world record territory. And I also didn't have that much gold or opportunity to get that much gold, so... Yeah, I would say it's a pretty safe sub-40 if you're better than I am. Which is also pretty safe to assume. <laughs> Most people are better than me. <sighs> At least 300 people. But when you think about it, that's not that many. I do typically try and look at things in the absolute worst lens for my self-confidence. <laughs> that's my strategy at life. It's got mixed... Mixed feelings so far. No village. Awesome. This is what you love to see. I, like, I, you know, I've, I've mentioned it before, but I don't watch anyone else who Minecraft speedruns. Lava pool. <laughs> I tried to be fast there. Not that the log would have saved me from fall damage, but... Check this shit out. <laughs> oh, you're so cool, Will. How'd you perfectly place that block to prevent yourself from landing there. Yeah, I don't watch anyone else who speedruns Minecraft, so... I have no real grasp of how quickly other people reset, but, like... I would assume... that would already be a reset, like, a minute before I decided to reset. The lava pool was nice, but I didn't notice it until the end there, and... no village, so... What can you do? Look around, do the 360, <laughs> turn 360 degrees and walk away. A Illager outpost. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I was thinking about it the other day. Uh... There was that one update that introduced, like, the, the Illager, like, mansion things that you find in Dark Oak Forests. I have seen so little amount of content that actually revolves around those places. Uh, and I've never experienced the content myself, like, I never went out to find one. I completely forget how you go about finding them. Like, I have vague memories, like, don't you get a map? somehow? Like, you get, like, a treasure map that points you in the right direction towards one of those mansions? I think you do. But, <laughs> who fucking knows how you get them? I was thinking, do you get them in those? Do you get them in the outposts? Because I haven't really explored that many of those either. But, uh, yeah, it's like a part of the game that, I mean, unless you play hardcore and actually need the totem things you get, it, uh, it's kind of just a waste of time, right? Like, you don't get anything of value there. Probably should have gone around instead of very slowly swimming through this. I'm used to being able to sprint in the water, but it doesn't really help me when it's one block tall. Oh yeah, but I never finished my thought earlier. There is an objective advantage to uh, control sprint instead of double tap sprint. Let me see if I find a village here, and if not, I think that 
might be a village on the horizon. It was hard to tell if that was a village or trees. I'm gonna go a little bit farther. It's already two minutes in, so this is not particularly fast, but... What is... Like, I love this grass that's sometimes in um, swamps, but I hate that, like, yellow grass. How can you guarantee a dark, lush green in your swamp biome? It was just trees. Alright, but uh, yeah, demonstration. No matter how quickly you double tap, you can't start sprinting in midair. But you can press control in midair. Mid so there's a lot of times where I'm like on the edge of a block, and this exact thing happens. I try and sprint, but because I, I fall off the block while I'm doing my double tap, oops, it doesn't go through. Whereas if I just press control, even if I'm in the air, uh, I still get the sprint off. I don't even know why that's a thing. Like, I, f I feel like that might just be a control oversight, honestly. Um, the fact that you can't double tap to sprint in midair. There might be an actual reason for it, but it seems like an oversight. <sighs> Good run. Good run, that was. But, even if it is a bug, or just not, I, I wouldn't really call that a bug. I, it is something not working as intended, potentially, depending on if that is or isn't intended, but I feel like they have more important pressing matters to attend to, such as uh, the entirety of the case in Cliff's update. Which, by the way, I don't know, I haven't really talked about that too much. There are obviously some things I'm very excited for, like just new cave generation is probably the most exciting thing to me that I've seen in the update. The, what are they, skulk sensors, I think they're called. I don't even know why I'm continuing this run. It's cold. Cold equals no food. I guess those are somewhat exciting, but depending on the implementation, which hasn't been talked about at all, I think it might just be janky and not really useful. Um... But yeah, cave generation and, like, more cave biomes is, uh, that's what piques my interest. Like, if we could have biome diversity, even if it's just on the level that, like, uh, the nether has, like, that is still, like, a decent amount of diversity that I would be satisfied with if there were just, like, four underground biomes. I would be happy with that. But... They, like, literally, there was some, like, splash text or, like, media quote. I don't know where it came from, but they said that they plan to make uh, the underground as diverse as the overworld, right? Which is not plausible, in my opinion, especially not with how much they've shown. But, yeah, you know, they surprised me when they did the nether update. I feel like it'll probably be closer to the Nether update than the Overworld. Like, I don't know. That's just such a bold claim. There's so many fucking biomes and, like, sub-biomes that can happen in the Overworld. It is, uh... It's just absurd. To, uh... To claim something like that. And I talked about this part of it before. I did say that, like, I think what they mean by that is, like they would probably count it as a separate biome if you got, like, one of those overgrown caves, but it's a ravine instead of a normal cave. But who knows if ravines are even going to be in the game in the same format, since they're redoing all of the terrain generation. Ravines might feel out of place. Or you might just not even notice if there's a ravine, because everything is, like, big and chasm-y. Who knows? Who knows? But... Well, all of that is very exciting. There's one part of the update that uh, I haven't really talked about at all. It just feels very strange to me, honestly. It's the best way to put it. I don't really get the archaeology stuff at all. It feels weird. Like, uh, the best way to put it is it just feels kind of out of place. I don't know if I'm the only one saying that, but like... You know, 
with literally every update, there are people who say, like, this isn't Minecraft, this doesn't feel like it fits in Minecraft, you're ruining Minecraft, etc., etc. And that'll always happen. But, you know, I'm not going to go so far as to say that archaeology is going to ruin Minecraft. I will just say, it feels a little weird. It's a very strange thing. And, you know, d d more importantly, they haven't shown any real functionality that comes from it yet. Like, if they do something interesting with archaeology, and, like, maybe you get some interesting tools that aren't necessarily, like, better than the current tools that exist in the game, but just, like, different? Like, I don't know. Maybe, like, a fucking <laughs> ancient grappling hook. Why not, right? Like, that is a tool that currently does not exist in the game and probably could fit in Minecraft. It's not like it's going to be more powerful than an elytra, right? And, like, you know, it could be a, a decent, helpful tool for maneuvering before you get elytra and maybe even be useful and fun in conjunction with elytra. Um, I, you know, I'm a little bit biased because I really fucking love grappling hooks, but <laughs> who doesn't, right? Who doesn't? Um, but I don't know. They, so far, everything they've shown of archaeology just seems like, I don't know, like a more tedious way of getting certain resources and uh, decorative stuff, which I don't really care about at all. This is another wash. Uh, it's just when I get on a like topic of conversation, it's hard to pivot into reset brain. But I am going to reset that garbage. 19. Once again, you get like a fucking feast of villages in one seed. And then it's just a drought. You get nothing. You, you can't play the game. It sucks. But I don't know. I would be interested to see what they do in archaeology. Wow, this is no no trees at all either. Just a fuck you mountain with one tree in the distance. <laughs> I think it could be useful. I don't know. Not useful. I don't know what to say about archaeology. I think they could do something with it that would get me interested in it, is the best way of putting it. Like, currently I'm not interested in archaeology at all, and I just think it's weird. Um... So yeah, if there's, like, some reason to do it, then yeah, I'll probably be interested. I mean, I fucking, I've said it before, I love loot boxes that are free, and I guess, like, sifting through dirt and gravel is basically just free Minecraft loot box. But, I don't know. I just don't know what to think of it, really. Like, my initial reception to, like, finding ancient pottery is just, like, uh... I don't know, Minecraft hasn't really been, like... Like, the world of Minecraft... has never really felt like its own cultural pocket. <laughs> like, I don't know, thinking about, like, ancient Minecraft cultural history is very strange to me. Um, so it feels kind of out of place. But, maybe that's just me. I just feel like the world of Minecraft, to me, is honestly more interesting and nice if I don't think about, <laughs> like, other people being in the world before me. It's just like, this is, this is my world, you know? This is, I've left my mark on it, and I'm the only one who's left their mark on it, except for villages. But, like, villages are, they're basically like aliens. <laughs> but I don't know, I even, I, I did feel weird when they added villages. I was like, that's a strange take. And I, again, felt weird when they added, like, the illagers and all that stuff. I thought that that stuff felt kind of out of place. And it still kind of does, but, you know, it, again, like I said, it doesn't ruin Minecraft. I do think it's kind of annoying that illagers just sometimes show up and, uh, I don't know, give you a negative status effect that makes it so you can't go into villages for like an hour or something. It's just annoying more than anything, but, you know, that's like a gameplay thing aside from the 
like tone and theming, I guess. Which is mainly where I put it, is that, like, even if it's weird and feels out of place for Minecraft to me, um, it doesn't affect gameplay, like, at all. So I don't care. I don't care. Worst case scenario, archaeology is just something I completely ignore, and that's fine. Best case scenario, I'll find, like, an archaeological dig site and get excited for, like, a few loot boxes, right? So, I, I guess there's, uh, there's some room for optimism. What is that? What am I looking at here? It's not a village. What, uh, is that a, like, drowned thing that actually breached the surface? I'll check that out just because I'm interested in it, but... I don't know what you can actually find in these things. I think you can find iron and gold, so it's potentially worth it. Potentially. Let's see. Yeah, aren't these supposed to be underwater? Pretty sure they are. Let's check it out. Cool. Very cool. And... Uh, less cool, because I can't get inside of it. And I don't see a chest. I'm going to reset this instantly, but I do want to know if there is a chest here. There it is. <laughs> okay, sure. I guess I'm doing this now. Probably not going to be worth it at all. Yeah, look at that! Look at that, dude. Leather tunic. Also, just like, I don't know, slight side note about the caves and cliffs is, like, caves are obviously getting, like, a much nicer facelift than cliffs are. <laughs> like, I don't, like, who, goats? That's, like, the, the one thing that's maybe... And, like, who even cares about goats? <laughs> who cares? It's like the exact same thing as polar bears, panda bears, foxes, like... Those new mob additions just don't excite me at all. Because again, they like don't affect gameplay in any way. I guess it's nice, like it, you know... Makes the world feel slightly more alive, having different kinds of animals in it, but... Lava pool? Okay. But yeah, it doesn't really do it for me. I don't get too excited when I hear about a new animal. Dolphins are sick, though. Dolphins are actually sick. Dolphins are, like, the one new animal that has, like, an actual lot of, like, gameplay functionality that I find interesting. They can lead you to buried treasure. Well, not buried treasure. Uh, like, sunken ships that in turn lead you to buried treasure. Um, and they make you go fast as fuck, dude. Like, how can you not be excited about that? That's sick. Alright, so this is going to be another classic situation where I start right next to a lava pool and don't find a village. My favorite. I am finding way more lava pools than I used to. I think I'm just better. I think I was bad at looking for them when I was first doing runs. I probably ran past, like, exposed stone hundreds of times when I first started doing runs. Well, I'm going very far away from the lava pool, so it basically doesn't matter that it exists anymore. But I need to find a village, first and foremost. See, now that, I used first and foremost again, but... <laughs> it, uh, it was on its 30-minute cooldown, so I could use it again. Without feeling like I don't know enough words in the English language. Where are we going, man? Absolutely nothing. Like, I have no reason to be excited for axolotls, either. I mean, they showed that they fight with you. I, I guess that's kind of cool. Like, maybe you could bring, like, an... I mean, literally, in the trailer, the demonstration they showed is bringing, like, an army of them with you to the... 
sunken temples or whatever they're called. So yeah, you know, I guess th there's, a, there's a benefit. Hey, look at that. Did find a village. But it seems kind of niche, though. I mean, honestly, more underwater mobs are always welcome, in my opinion, because there aren't really that many of them. We got the salmon, the squid, axolotls would be added, and, uh, and dolphins, I guess. And that's it, as far as passive ones go. Okay, actually get to fucking play the game. <laughs> It's been like 10 runs since I've been able to play the game. Feels bad, man. Really? Really? <laughs> Fucking world's farthest away piece of stone. I do like, uh, plains slash forest villages most, though, because they're the most convenient for getting stone. Okay. We're in there. I should probably get the bed, huh? That's an important part of this whole thing. Uh, should I care about the cauldron? Maybe, but honestly, they're so finicky to get in and out of. Well, mostly in. The out of part is pretty easy. But, yeah. I don't really think I care. I didn't go in this house, really? Yeah, I guess not. I saw it was right next to the house that I broke into. I, I thought I definitely would have, but apparently not. I do have a tendency of being stupid. There's the hay bales I'm looking for. Should probably get those immediately, because I'm about to run out of hunger. That's just a farm. So, no bed in there. Damn it. If you're gonna have a blacksmith, like, working table, at least have the decency to have a chest with iron in it or something, you know? Like, it's it's only common decency. Something I guess you've never been taught. Remember when you used to be able to punch doors open? Didn't that used to be a thing? Or am I crazy? I'm actually feeling like I... Oh, wow, there's a reason I wasn't picking up any of those blocks. My fucking Minecraft sometimes teleports me to the past. Not the best for trying to go fast. Periodically getting teleported like 10 or 15 seconds backwards is, is not a good look. Five? Three. Are you fucking kidding me? So bad, dude. Okay, well... What's the deal? Should I look for another lava pool, or do you think it's more reliable if I just go back to the one towards spawn? I don't really remember where spawn is, but it should be like 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, it's just this direction, mostly. Right? No, like, uh, this direction. There you go. More to the left. And look for a closer one while I'm running. It's probably just going to take me all the way back to spawn, though. Oh, I should get uh, gravel and water also. Just in case I don't end up getting it. <sighs> Slow, but when am I ever fast? No gravel either. Bummer. There's definitely gravel in there. Do I want to jump all the way down? No, I'll get in this.
Come on, man. I got the one river with, like, there it is. Almost no gravel. Woo! First try. Where's my spawn, though? I don't remember going through too much water. Oh, it's, like, deep in this direction. I went a little bit too far. But I did get gravel and, well, flint. <laughs> Most importantly. Uh, this is kind of where I remember spawning. Where is the lava? Come on, man. <sighs> it's times like these that I hate being bad at video games. Was I farther? Oh, there it is. There it is. That's pretty easy to spot. <laughs> it was farther in this direction. I didn't remember going across the river, but I guess I must have. Either that or this is a different lava pool, but I'm not going to complain either way. This is definitely a different lava pool. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? It works. And it's much more convenient gravel than I used, but... Again, who cares? <laughs> it works. Oh, I'm stupid. This is not a who cares kind of situation anymore. You do have to place a block before you do anything. Sure. What the fuck? Who put that tree there? Okay, so you go up. I'm gonna have to dig this out, but that's not that big of a deal. And I got rid of my shovel and my toolbar, that's fine. Oops, that was not supposed to be broken, but whatever, I'll take the extra cobblestone, I guess. And there you go. Uh, this... Yeah, okay, this is right. God, I got, I got confused. I was afraid I put my water in the wrong spot, but now I got it. Oh, I don't even know why I cared to get the gravel, because, uh, yeah. Forgot about this whole not having, uh... Not having an extra piece of iron thing. Any chance you guys could spare some of that fire in the other direction? Like over here? Oh! Oh! Come on! Come on! Come on! You got this! I believe in you. You can make the gap. It's not that hard. I'll give you as many opportunities as you need. Come on, man! There you go. We got there. Yeah, it's actually very easy to, uh, to use fire. It's not fast, but it is easier than I gave it credit. Obviously, you would prefer and just get a flint and steel. Oh, God. Looking, looking... <laughs> like, the fog makes it really hard to see, especially when you're in the nether wastes. The, uh, the red fog would be pretty rough to see through. Wow, I am surrounded by shitfuck lake. Official name. I f officially hate this nether. Yeah. Cool, dude. Okay. I, I guess I'm, uh... Basically, like, zero, zero. I mean, I, I would spot this fucking peninsula in the middle of the goddamn biggest lava lake from a mile away, so. I guess this is my life? Minecraft nether skyblock speedrun. It's not the end of the world. It does suck is the end of the world, <laughs> basically. Because uh, I'm not seeing a fortress at all, either. Uh, everything is, like, just at the edge of my vision. I hate it. I don't know which direction I should go in. 
I think this way is probably most promising, but it still sucks. So, you know. Basically no good options. Again, I don't trust myself to let go of shift. I know it's faster. I'm not going to do it. It's something I've literally never practiced, so I would just instantly die. It is not a trick I care to learn. It's the kind of thing that people only do for style points. It's really not any faster. It's like such a minimal amount of speed increase that you're better off just not doing it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good at games. How about you? What's it to ya? You jealous? I haven't nailed a single one of those all stream. <laughs> and I I did practice for like not a long time, but like ten minutes before I started stream, and I was nailing them back to back. And I know I you know I was doing creative to fly up high, but I know that creative has longer reach. Uh, so I was turning to survival before falling. I was doing it the legit way, real practice, and it did not pay off. Did not pay off. No dividends. I forgot this is the run where I got leather armor. I was confused by why I had armor. <sighs> okay. Ooh. That was unnecessarily risky. And you gotta mine for the gold while you get the opportunity. Better safe than sorry. Uh, I do need a quickly, because I see there's piglins right over there. I will both trade them a little bit of gold and also uh, make it so they don't get piss angry at me. There you go. Now they'll just get moderately angry at me. Hello, brethren! I am but one of you! Yeah! Wait, they, they see that, right? Yeah, there you go. Fucking trade your heart out. Only one of them went for it, but that's fine. I don't really want to mine around them, because I'm just going to die. What? 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 What happened there? Oh! Okay. Uh, four is inconsequential, but it's still exciting. I got some immediately. Hello, will you fucking please trade with me, dickhead? What'd you give me? Glowstone? Garbage. I'll keep the iron nuggets, because I can actually benefit from that. Alright, let's go in this direction. Why not? They can't see you if they can't see you, right? <laughs> right? Like, they're not going to get mad at me for doing this? Yeah, okay. Just checking. Oh! Actually, okay, no, I, I have a decent amount of wood and stone, so... For a second I was frightened by that, but... Yeah, that's that's fine. Please stop making a mess of my inventory. Me. How many... Oh, I do have enough nuggets to make a shield, actually. I'm gonna do that immediately. Because that is, like, priority number one for survival. <sighs> what a slow, slow run. I mean, at least it's a run, though. Like, that's all you can ask for when fucking speedrunning Minecraft is not, oh boy, I hope I get a PB. It's really just, oh boy, I hope I get to play the game today. Oh, whoops. So, at least I'm getting to play the game today, right? 
when you look at it in that lens, it's really not so bad. Okay. Fortress? No. No chance. Nada. No, you don't want nada. Uh, well, I mean, I do hate traversing in this biome, but I don't really see a better place to go. There was more nether waste, like, behind me and to the left a bit, but this is fine. Oops. I do still, yeah, I do still have netherrack to build with. Be a little bit faster. Ugh. Was this one of those runs that I found a saddle? Could I technically be riding a strider across the lava lake? You just can't see fucking anything in this biome. It's so garbage for finding fortresses and gold and just anything. It just sucks. I hate it. Bad biome. The blue forest is not that much better, mind you. Ooh, I don't think I would have made that if I didn't place that block, so I'm kind of like a legendary gamer at the moment. I'll be doing an AMA afterwards. How much gold do I have? Not a lot. Not much. How about you? Uh, might as well immediately trade it away while I get the oppor- Oh, never mind, that's a baby. Babies aren't the best <laughs> negotiators. No point in going into a bastion when you don't have an iron tool. Uh, oh! <laughs> I didn't think that guy could get to me, so... Minecraft jump scare at its finest. I should have definitely swapped out to my hay, but I forgot it was even on my hotbar, honestly. So I didn't think about it immediately. Do I want to go nether waste, or do I want to go this way? Blue biome. Warped forest. Warped Forest? No, I was going to say it's slightly less crowded with uh, trees than Crimson, but I think it's actually like the exact same. And I have to be careful that I don't look at Enderman. Okay. Dude, I am so good. So good at video gaming. Am I back where I like was a little bit ago? That looks like the same lava curtain I saw earlier. I think it is basically haven't moved at all. That's a good feeling. So I'm probably backtracking by going this way. I think I am. Yep, this is the lava sea again. I should have gone the other way. I'm stupid. No, I do not think it is worth killing the Endermen on 1.16.1 because you do get, like, a ridiculous amount of pearls for trading piglins in 16.1. After I did 16.3, I was like, hell yeah, sign me up for, uh, for Endermen action, but now that I realize that was just because I was playing on the wrong version is no longer a good idea. Can I even make it over here? Yeah, I can if I go this way. Ouch. I did do it, though. I did do it correctly. Like, there are chests you can find in these places, and this one is pretty wide open, honestly, so... Uh... Maybe it's worth it, but there's also a lot of scary dudes in it that I don't really want to tussle with. Yeah, the pigs especially, but there's a chest right- oh, and a chest right over here. Let's get this one. This one's easier. They get mad at you if you loot, right? No. Yes? Are you mad? Oh, they are really mad. They do not like when you open chest. Dude, are you fucking? <laughs> Who's fucking? 
I, uh, ugh. Like, yes, that is gold, like the gilded blackstone. You can mine it and get gold out of it, but it's, uh, it's just nuggets still, so it's just a waste of time. Like, I find that shit everywhere. What? You're mad? I thought we were friends? Oh, we are friends. He loves me. Woo! Ah! Fear! Okay, I'm going back around this way. Gold armor is not really that exciting. I mean, it is technically better, better than leather, so... You know, there's something to that, but... Trade me! Not worth getting that excited over. Oh, look at them go. Well-oiled trading machine. Got obsidian. Eh, just like all garbage. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Don't care about that, or that, or that. Or that. Uh, 11 pearls? Are you fucking shitting me? I mean, that's... that's... It's a little upsetting, honestly, because it's so close to what I need to just leave. But... I mean, I still need the fortress, obviously. But, um... Yeah, I'm not gonna sneeze at that. Still fairly lucky. What's not fairly lucky is, uh... My fortress luck, but when is that ever lucky? You come to expect it. Yeah, this is prime time Strider territory, huh? My apologies if there is a saddle in one of those uh, bastion chests that I completely ignored, because, like, I just view saddles as garbage, because they are most of the time. Oh, man. So my best estimate of how the rest of this run is going to go is I'm probably going to look for Fortress for another 10 minutes before I still don't find one and accidentally fall into lava by that point. Because there is a lot of lava lake action that I don't really see an easy path out of. Just trying to skirt along the edges. I mean, it's working out, but for, for how long, you know? Oh, nice. The fun biome. Everyone's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, let me move. Still no fortress, either. No surprise. Dude. Come on. I do schmoove a little bit, though. Even through the abysmal lag. Is this where I've been already? No, I don't think so. I would have noticed if it uh, connected to Soul Sand Valley earlier. <sighs> I probably should head in this direction, though. Oh. Always take your free opportunity to not be slow. Oops. Oh, come on! Like, I like looking where I'm going, so I don't accidentally fucking run straight into lava, but you have to be looking, like, straight down in this area. For the most part.
Come on. You should be dead. Nothing. Awesome. Alright, no reason in going down there. Because, uh, as you can see, it doesn't really take me anywhere. I don't really have enough blocks to build across, though, so I have to go dig real quick. Like, uh, this is just the nether experience, man. If you don't get lucky with the fortress, have fun not having fun, basically. I'm just gonna waste, like, 30-plus minutes and probably still not finding any anything before you die. Okay, that was an accident, but sure. Almost there. Okay. Not now, guest. Got more important things to deal with. No piglins. Yeah, all zombies. Mine a little bit of extra gold, I guess. Again. So long as none of them are alive, they don't care if I steal their gold. Hey guys. Don't really want to trade again. Like, I already have pretty much everything I could want. I might as well swap this out. Uh, like, what, what do I want, really? Nothing? Nothing. I have enough iron that I can make an iron pick. So if I find another bastion... I could actually benefit from the gold blocks. But that shouldn't be necessary, honestly. Like, I only need one more pearl to feel pretty confident. Well, like, yeah, I only need one more pearl to feel, like, pretty confident. But the minimum pearl trade is, like, four in 1.16.1. So one more pearl trade and I'm completely set. Don't need to worry about it at all. So I'd probably rather build an axe, honestly. Well, I don't know. I'm having to do a lot of digging, and I'm probably going to have to do a lot of digging to get back, also. Just because I need blocks to build with. So maybe it would be in my best interest to make an iron pick. Let's go for it. The, uh, the extra damage you get from an iron axe honestly isn't that significant anyways. It's mainly for the durability, and I guess I would definitely rather have the durability on the pick than the axe. Plus it mines slightly faster, so there is that. There is that. Hey! <laughs> Did I go backwards again? Dude, I've been here. No, fucking, you're shitting me. How did I get turned around so easily? This is the same fucking bastion I went in earlier. I hate myself, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Least effective stealth mission in my life. They do get mad at you when you mine the gold blocks, so. I was trying to get out of there quickly, but uh, we all saw how that went. Yeah, I've already checked that one. I've already checked, like, all of these. I really... I don't know where to go. I had a plan, but it just... It, it fell apart? I thought I was going in a different direction, but I somehow turned 180 degrees and walked away. So I don't know where to go anymore, really. I've got no fucking clue. I might as well do piglin trading, though. Oh, I'm out of food. I'm gonna, like, actually run out of food for real if I stay here too long. Oh, God. Take take the fucking gold, dude. Don't be a dickhead. Thank you. Come on. They really do want to run away from the gold, huh? Oh, I no longer need to trade you. 
have fun with the rest of your gold. Uh, I guess I could have made a helmet out of that, but I, I really don't care. I don't care about the... Well, no, I can use the Ender Pearl, I guess. Um, might as well keep the Splash Potions. Oh, should also take that. Oh, shit, Soul Speed! It's actually... Oh, and Soul Speed 3! That's actually a huge increase. I, uh, I know this is stupid. I know I'm stupid. I know. I get it. I'm going back again to the Soul Sand Biome, though. Because A, I move faster now, and B, that is the direction I want to be headed. That's away from spawn. And I should try and head as far away from spawn as possible. Or I'm just going to end up hitting that massive lava lake again and not be able to do anything. So, yeah. I think that makes sense. I, I just don't fucking know how it happened. How did I get so twisted? Like, how did I... I don't even... I don't... How did I come backwards through this? I must have come back a different way, obviously, but... Yeah, it just... This is baffling to me. The ender... Like, the extra ender pearls are seriously... Really fucking helpful. For, uh, traversing the nether, though. Like, I'm gonna try and be sparing with them, because you... Still don't want to waste them. Um... Like, you know, I still do need, like... Twelve to feel comfortable. Holy shit, the speed! Oh my god. The FOV swapping when I jump is really jarring. But I'm just not going to sprint jump. Because I am moving fast enough that it's not necessary. Also helps me save on food, I guess. Okay, a little frightened going that fast around here. Like, the FOV really makes it hard for me to tell where my feet are sometimes. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna go this way. I didn't go this way last time. Let's go this way. I must have gotten twisted and turned when I mined for the netherrack. I don't know how, though. I am a big dummy. But I didn't think I was that much of a dummy, you know? It's very jarring having the FOV go in and out and in and out. Turns out I was the one who was fucking. But oh, this is my best aw. Oh, well, I yes, I could have saved myself if I quick swapped the hay fast enough there because I did place the block, but. Oh, it ate my sprint, so I didn't actually go anywhere. I think I'm just gonna fucking stop streaming today. I was planning on doing something different from the start anyways, and that didn't happen, so... I'm okay with a fucking mediocre Minecraft stream. Like, it's just, you know, plans didn't work out how I thought they were going to today. That's fine. Uh, thank you for anyone who hung out. Uh, I... It, will continue my legacy of never getting a actual successful Minecraft run. I just fucking hate it. It's so awful when you go to the nether, spend 30 minutes searching, still find nothing. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. It's uh, not a question that I can answer. But uh, yeah, that's, that's just gonna do it, so. Sorry if it was not exactly... <laughs> peak stream energy, but it's the best I could muster. But, uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be it, so thanks. Uh, am I gonna stream tomorrow? Let's see, what day is it? Saturday, yes. Um, yeah, I'll stream tomorrow. Why not? I'll probably be here. So, yeah, th thank you. I'll try and think of something better to do tomorrow. Uh, mix it up a bit. I might go back to disc room for a bit, might do some Spelunky. Probably gonna do Legend of Grimrock, but, uh, we'll see, so... See you there.